Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is a second video I'm doing in a row, so in case you're seeing the same shirt and everything, it's because I did it in a row from month's end to the video game Movie Dome. Yes, this is a haul from Pam uh, from the video game Movie Dome, and it starts the October pickups. And I got the box today, being... Uh, the hell's today tuesday and this will probably go up wednesday um there's the box right there i don't want to show the other side because my address is on it um open this sucker up now i remember what i got but not to a t so <laughs> she packs this tight look at that uh okay cardboard um and look how she packs that is awesome the bubble wrap the bubble wrap i'll reuse and uh don't need the knife anymore um oh yeah i can use this to pack somebody's stuff a little <laughs> more bubbles uh more, <laughs> oh, oh my God. more bubble wrap I can use. All right. She said she sent me a gift, which I knew what it was already because I seen it on a another YouTube channel. But I'll show that last. It's a non um, non media um, thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go through these. Some of these are for Halloween, so that's why I got them a lot. Uh, this was a. Movie I have not seen before. It's got um, Bess Bessiel del Toro, Anthony Hopkins. It's, it's Werewolf right there. Um, Benicio del Toro. There you go. I knew I was going to pronounce it right. Um, I like his work. He's very good. Um, it is, this is the theatrical version. It's rated R. And there's an uncut version on here as well. Director's cut, but it doesn't say... Oh, there it is. The theatrical is 143 minutes. The unrated version is 159, so two hours. You can just put the extra minute in there. Um, pretty good condition. Just needs to be wiped down a little bit. A little dusty. Um, there you go. Let's check out what's in here. Uh, an old, old ass thing for the digital um, DVD code. Uh, let's see. The uh, beautiful on the Blu-ray just needs a little bit of wiping. Fingerprints. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, let's see the DVD. Probably not going to even screw with the DVD, but... Uh oh actually, surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. A little dust on it. But, uh... No, I'm not going to really play the DVD anyway. But, uh, there's the uh, unrated version and the rated version. Of that. So, if anyone's seen this already, um, comment below. Say how good it is. If, um... I should check this out first on my Halloween. It's not a marathon. It's more like I'm going to be watching movies, horror movies and comedy horror movies throughout the whole month of October. So um, this is actually going in that pile. Yep. I might as well keep this uh, thing in it. Even though I can't use it, I might as well keep the code in there because it's expired. When did this thing expire? Uh... And I d uh, don't know when it expired. But uh, whatever. I like the slip. The slip is cool. It's got a nice mat to it and some embossing. And uh, yeah. Looks awesome. There's the back. Very cool stuff. And uh, why did it just slip by me? I don't know how it slipped by me. Um... I know um, Jack Nicholson made a 
werewolf movie, but I never got a hold of that one either. So, it's one. Let's see what else we have in here. Uh, another horror movie. Uh, which people said this is actually pretty good. This is from Lionsgate. It's um, Friends Request. The second one, they said it was garbage. I'd seen the reviews on that. But this one sounded interesting, creepy, and something that I have never seen. So, another Halloween one. Uh, it's Region 8 locked, unfortunately, but I think this is all over the world. Let's see the disc. Ah, former rental. From, uh, what, Family Video? Ah, Family Video. They usually take care of their stuff. This just got some fingerprints on it. I mean, you go into family video stores, they usually have, um, what do you call, they usually have um, 4Ks in there for damn good prices. I just seen a YouTuber, actually, yeah, he's a YouTuber, but he showed a picture on Instagram um, on um, what he found. He had a stack of Blu-rays, no, 4Ks. You only get the 4K. You don't get the you don't get the Blu-ray with it. But stack, I think it was like 10 or 12 for like 20 bucks. So it's pretty good. I have not run across any 4Ks at the store that I went to. So whatever. Um, special features for request to social nightmare. Who is in this movie? Um, anyone famous? Anyone famous in this movie? I don't recognize any names in this movie. But, uh... It's rated R. It's 96 minutes. Which is not that long, but, uh... It's color, of course. But, I'm gonna check this out. See what it's like. Just gotta wipe it down. It's kind of... Yeah. Sticky. And here's another one I have seen parts of but I never got to see the whole thing and especially the director's cut who's in this movie that's a PG-13 uh, and there's a um uh unrated version of it and uh they're both the same length uh I'm trying to see who's in this movie first it's a universal movie Justin Long's in here. All right, I love Justin Long. He's a great um, character actor. That's a Sam Raimi, um, written by Sam Raimi and Ivan Raimi, and directed by Sam Raimi. It's Drag Me to Hell. This one I have only seen bits and pieces of. And, um, yeah, I would like to take it and review it again. Probably watch the unrated version. Uh... Why they're both the same length, I don't know. But if Justin Long is in this and I didn't know, uh, sign me up. Say what you say what you will about Justin Long, but he is awesome. Um, this is dusty. It's dusty. Um, there's a DVD copy in here, which. Um, just fingerprints, but uh, there's like one little hairline scratch on that, which I'm probably not going to use anyway. And then there's the Blu-ray, which is immaculate. So someone must have played this like once or something. Um, there is a code in here for the DVD, or as a DVD with the digital on there, but there's no code in there to use it, so... Whatever. Um, there's a lot of some special features. Production video diaries. Hmm. Not really much to say on that. Um, I'll show you the slip. It'll probably come out better. Hmm. The back. The front. Drag me to hell. So, uh, yeah. Really interesting. Another one for the um, another one for the um, Halloween 
month. Over here. Uh, so we have any more Halloween ones in here? Okay. This one, it's not considered a Halloween movie, but I'm probably going to watch it anyway. It's 4K of Scoob. This one, I'll... Sorry, I got the hiccups. This one I wanted to see and um, see how good it is. I don't really care for the other ones, the other movies that are like shelled out like like uh, like candy at like and then you find them at the Dollar Tree. Nah, as long as they put time and effort into this and it shows how uh, shaggy and scoob Matt. So, yeah, it could be pretty good. Um, some action. Language and rude suggestive humor. It's 94 minutes and I have to see the inside. Um, special features 10. Um, special features bloopers, 10 deleted scenes, how to draw Scooby Doo, new friends, new villains. And puppies. So that is cool. This is a Warner Brothers. What I'm trying to see. Is Hanna Barbera his name on here at all? I don't know. I don't see Hanna Barbera's name on it, but there you go. What's this? Um I guess Take a selfie with Scoob and and just advertisements for their comic books. I'll probably give this to my niece. She always likes that stuff. Um, the Blu-ray is fingerprints, but uh, I could clean that off. And the 4K, which is an ugly yellow for some reason. Um... It needs to be wiped down. It's got, I think it's the oil from this plastic because this there's a lot of oil when they make these things. And really, for 4K cases, stop using the eco shit, you know? Because the, the 4K cases are really expensive to get. And I really don't have... Excuse me. I really don't have extras for that. I have extra Blu-ray cases. Don't have extra... Um, 4K cases, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to check this one out. Scoob. Um, probably watch this for uh, Halloween month. Why not? Because they're always like, they're always like finding like mysteries and creepy stuff. So there you go on 4K. That's the only 4K I got from her this month. Probably next month I'll probably get a couple. Um, this one's out of print. She gave me a good price on it. Uh, might have to change this case though. Because it's kind of eh. Um, it is hard rain. When I seen this in that stack, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm grabbing that. Because I was going to get an import version of it. But the import version is kind of expensive. So yeah, as long as she had it, someone traded it in. They didn't know what they had. Uh, there's the theatrical trailer on here. And that's about it. But uh, maybe Paramount will re-release this since their record is per, uh, fairly well. Um, seeing that they just released like seven, eight films because of the Paramount Presents one this this month alone. So, yeah, maybe they'll re-release it. Let me check the discs inside. It's just an old advertisement. <laughs> and old advertisement. Check that out. Pause it. Read it. Laugh. Uh, they treated people like stupid idiots when they bought this. Still the stupid eco case. Um, just fingerprints. Needs to be polished. But uh, the... Uh, putting my fingerprints on it. The disc is really cool. So, yeah. So, it is Paramount, but for some reason, Lionsgate distributed. So, kind of weird. 
but uh, it has um, Morgan Freeman in it, Christian Slater, Randy Quaid, before he went nuts, uh, in Canada somewhere, um, Ed Asner, uh, don't know, Betty White's in this movie. She's in everything, I swear. She will work until the day she dies. I swear, she's an awesome person. Um, Co-producer, Christian Slater. Uh, yeah, so this is this is an excellent movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, I think it's on streaming services, so just check it out. Morgan Freeman is the bad guy. Sorry to tell you that, but yeah, I like Morgan Freeman. Christian Slater, I don't know what happened to him. He's doing all these crappy indie films now, but um, I'm happy to have that in the collection. Just got to change this case because it's kind of nasty. And it's an eco, so I'm going to change that case. Now, if you watched my Munson video, I was talking about... Um, the James Bond series and how I needed three more volumes to complete it. Well, I got those three volumes. I'm going to start with these first, um, which she gave me a damn good price for. Uh, they're not factory sealed. Nope. They're open. But um, I got Roger Moore, volume one, which has three movies on it. Again, I'm... So, like I said in the last video, uh, for months end, I'm probably going to take these um, slip cases and just save them in a bag somewhere. Because uh, I'm probably not going to, I'm not, probably not going to put them on the shelf because they are too bulky. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. No, no code. Oh well, it's used. What do you expect? Uh, check, uh, yeah, it needs to be, like, wiped down. It's the oil from these cases. If you leave them in there long enough, yeah, no, that one's clean. And, let's say this one, clean. So, another one for the collection. Okay. If you hear anything downstairs, it's my brother and all. He's he does stuff for Amazon, so he's taping boxes closed. Um, this is volume two, Roger Moore. I'm gonna take off the plastic. I don't really need the plastic wrap on it. Um, she got these in, and they're basically brand new. Um, but whoever traded them in just took the digital codes out and uh, you know sold her whatever's left she gave me a good price on both of these because these are out of print now so finding them are a bitch and for them for for her to get them both in at the same time that's awesome this one's got uh, four movies on it it's got four movies on it that's awesome the other one had three so let's uh fix this inlay because it's sliding out. Roger Moore. I kind of like Roger Moore certain movies. Um, he had that sarcasm to him. Um, every Bond is unique. Uh, all these movies are great. Um, I'm, I've, I've seen all the Bond movies except for like Your Majesty's Secret Service. Don't think I've seen that all the way through. But uh, it's got discs in here. One, two, three, four. So that's another one done for the James Bond collection. And then finally, which someone bought this at probably a Big Lots or something because there's a sticker over the barcode. Um, it's only four of the movies out of the five, but that's okay. I'll get it separate. Um, uh, Daniel Craig in um, the Daniel Craig collection. And um, yeah, I wanted this one.
because the one that came out before this only had three movies. This one had the four. Um, I've seen parts of Quantum of Solace, and that was it. So I really need to check these out. Um, got Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Solace, um, Skyfall, and one popped out. This is, oh, gee, Spectre. Artwork, the rest don't have artwork. So that means they were lazy and they just shoved it in that set. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't make a difference, as long as I have them all. But for some reason, it's not fitting that great on this thing. But I probably have another one of these. Well, now it's popping out on this side. I think I have another one of these to replace. Yeah, well. That's sad. It keeps popping out of the uh, out of the uh, things. So I might have to find the replacements I do have. Um, well... Uh, they're special ones, but I could probably find them somewhere. So I have all of the Daniel Craig's up to the newest one. And God knows, is it going to come out in November like they say? I don't know. But it looks interesting. And then the next Daniel, then the next 007, Tom Hardy. I don't see Tom Hardy being the next James Bond, but... He'll surprise us all if he if he does a really good job. Um, I'd rather see a black bond or a female bond. But, you know, whatever. Craig. Daniel Craig. Um, and then when the new movie comes out, I'll probably end it up either getting it on Blu-ray or 4K. Doesn't matter. It'll probably match. Finally... She gave these out to certain YouTubers, and uh, I guess she got these as prom uh, to promote her um, business. Um, which I can use this when I am uh, in the other room or in this room. I can use this for water. It's the video game Movie Dome, and I like this green. It is so cool. don't know if it glows in the dark, but... Video game movie dome. Boom. I got myself a nice little bottle here. Thank you, Pam. Um, squeeze bottle. Oh, it needs to be washed <laughs> first. It's a plastic smell. Yeah, plastic smell. It needs to be washed. Um, yeah, she's probably giving this away to uh, YouTubers that go to her store and probably people that you know, buy online and stuff like that. So I thank you. That's really cool. And uh, I do collect advertising um, stuff. So this is going to be for the advertising collection. But I'm actually going to use it by putting ice water in it. So yay. That's is that it. That's all that she sent me in this haul. Um, like I said, this... Uh, was supposed to be for September's haul, but it is now for October, the beginning of October's pickups. So, and then the next one that I buy this month for October will probably end up in November. There you go. So, uh, if you have any comments or questions about anything that I've shown, and I will put a picture at the end. Of all the good stuff that I got, uh, feel free to leave a comment question below, um, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that damn notification bell here or there. I don't know. I'm backwards. And uh, yeah, don't forget my Instagram page at Movie Edge One and my non-media um, page on Instagram at Movie Edge non-media. Well, you see good non-media stuff like this. Yeah. 
Um, that's it. <laughs> I will not be on for about two or three days, so this video might go up a few hours or so after the month's end video because of the fact that I'm going to have, I got a family funeral to go to and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm going to be busy, so I won't have time to make movies, videos, whatever. So, remember, this is Movie Edge saying, movies are your best entertainment. Yeah.